Stray Foe 711, the Deuce and the Nine. This is an informative Hoover Hay to all the culture enthusiasts, the curious, and the collective. Under the Groove decided to wait to comment on the recording that's out there about our brothers from Salo until after all the trolls, so called content creators, and curious were done with putting out what they thought to be hot news before we stepped in to really set the record straight about Salo. With the blessing, from Salos on what they deem to be a non-issue. Let's confront the elephant in the room this way, people. OG 107 Hoover Crips are, have been, will always be Hoover Crips. That never changed with them, nor with others around them. That's how they lived it and how they've lost in it. Their Hoover was like that when they were getting down, when the majority of you who have something to say about it probably didn't even exist. And if you did, you didn't have a heart to groove it like they did back then or now. Period, point blank, no questions, you know? That said, 107 Hoover criminals are also a reality now for some. Hoover Crips and Hoover criminals are one and the same. Don't get it twisted. This doesn't represent a discrepancy, not with Hoovers. With others, but not with Hoovers. This elephant in this room stands there asking Salos the question, well, how can two powerhouses Two entities exist as one under the same groove. The prevailing thought is thought to think that this question destroys, that it should destroy, or that it would destroy any foundation just on the merit of its weight. Salo addresses that by saying this, man. We do it easily with and for love. We do it with communication. We do it with shared experiences. And we do it with the unwavering commitment to the fact that though the OG's alliance is to Crippen, it is to Hoover first. Their allegiance to that is an integral part of Hoover history. Those dual dichotomies, Crip versus Crim, exist. They have been existing in harmony in this collective for a very long time now. This collective surpasses ordinary constructs of collectivism. By the way, collectivism is the principle of giving a group priority over each individual in it. That's what collectivism is. That construct, though, hinders most. So, Hoovers think outside the box because it doesn't stifle progression. What we've done, and in no way has it been a surprise to us because we did it, is embrace individualism. Yes, you guessed it again. Another lesson. Individualism, people, means the habit or principle of being independent and self-reliant. You see, Hoover celebrates individualism along with collectivism, in order to manipulate both principles to allow Hoovers to exist as Crips, as gangster Crips, and as criminals equally. This is done outside of the conventional box. That's how we think. As previously stated people, our groove is manifested in our ability to keep our balance as we traverse through daily life. This balance that you've witnessed for a while now regulates and stabilizes Hoover as a unit. Check this out, man. Five Dudes Hoover Gangster Crips is the prime example of this at work in real time. They've kept Crip. They've kept Gangster. And they keep criminal. Again, Hoover at his finest. So, when 107 Hoover says it's Crip or die, then we stand on this Crip and we say low, just as we do with Five Dudes. It's just that simple. This thing that people are attempting to pass off as an issue within the collective is nothing to us. This is Hoover, man. We do this. We've been doing this. And it fascinates you. <laughs> Hoover's OGs are untouchable, man, in their history, in their get out, and in what they have to say about Hoover's transition. They've earned that. OGs don't approve of Hoover's evolution, yet they respect that it's another generation's turn to create and represent that creation until the next generation brings it back home or create something entirely different and unexpected as the generations before them. By the same token, the young grooves respect their OGs, Crip history, and past. How can they not? I'll go one further. Not only do they respect the contributions OG Hoover Crips put down, they realize as well that Crip history could very well be something other than what it represents and is known to be were it not for Hoover's contributions to it. I think... For some of us, it's just the fact that there's a downright two-faced hypocrisy of crypt factions screaming foul, crypt be betrayal, or crypt disloyalty at Hoover's. All the while, they wallow in the same 
glorification of crip fratricide and hate that Hoovers are accused of living in. That's what Hoovers resent. In spite of this, though, Hoovers remain crips, gangster crips, and criminals. They exist together. So the sailors are wherever they choose to be. This is how Hoover is. This is Hoover's way. The attempts to gaslight the Hoover position, it's weak, man. We know what we are. We know what we want. We know what we hope for. And we know why we strive to always be. Peace to say no Hoovers. You are, you have been, and you will be under the groove.